Hello, 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 Charles here from MGN, and wow, what can I say, wow. Um, if you've looked at my reviews and general comments and stuff on um, MGN in the past, you know I've not really been a huge Nintendo fan for quite a while. Grew up with them, loved them, but as far as I'm concerned, the Nintendo I knew and loved has died a long time ago. Not a fan of Breath of the World, not a fan of pretty much everything they put out, but one thing that has always stayed with me, Metroid. Metroid Prime is still amazing, the Metroid franchise as a whole is still amazing as far as I'm concerned, it's their best franchise. So when Metroid Dread was announced, I, I couldn't believe it. Not only is the Fable Dread alive, not just a rumour, not just something people talk about on the internet as some wild conspiracy, Nintendo conspiracy theory, it did actually exist, it was canned, but now it is back, it looks absolutely crazy and after 19 years we're finally getting a new entry in the 2d metroid franchise and wow where do we start so i mean the first trailer dropped massive hints to hieroglyphics chozo star warriors and the big massive chozo who kind of looked like what we now know is definitely the guy from a flashback in zero mission where it shows a chozo who i'll just designate as quote unquote evil chozo who ordered the slaughter of all the other chozos who made the metroids and now we see that not only is it him, not only is he still somehow alive, he also has absolutely crazy powers, and Samus is actually taking him on almost perfectly. And there's just so much stuff to, to dive into in this trailer, so let's get started. Right, so as I've said already, we saw a flashback in Zero Mission, which um, wasn't the last game in the franchise, there was technically another remake called Samus Returns, but anyway, the last actual original entry in the franchise was Zero Mission, and that added a flashback of an evil Chozo ordering the slaughter of all the other Chozo who created the Metroids. He was not particularly happy with the other half of the Chozo. The Chozo being this race that we've always got hints about, we know that they saved Samus, they infused the blood, they were supposed to be a peaceful race, but for some reason they created the Metroids, and they just suddenly disappeared. But now it looks like Nintendo's finally ready to actually add some serious lore implications. And actually, if not disclose all about the Chozo, it at least disclose significantly more than they ever have before. I mean, you've got Samus taken on this guy, and by the way, one of those shots where it just shows the scale between this evil Chozo and Samus. Absolutely huge, proper David Goliath style fight. Love it. Also want to know what that red ore is about around him, but we'll get to that later. I mean, at the trailer, I'm not sure if this fight with the evil Chozo, if that's the start of the game or the end of the game, it could easily be either. I would suggest it may be the start, because when she's about to pass out, then something happens. But as everyone knows who's played Metroid, Samus always comes in pretty much fully stocked up. Hard original, obviously. All her abilities, something happens, she loses her ability. So I'd suggest that maybe this is the, the starting point of the game and... This is how she's going to lose all her abilities, and then we're going to start off where we start off. But um, not only like not only are we getting these tantalizing like, glimpses of Chozo ruins, we see Kraid back alive. How? Red eyes, same kind of red as the evil Chozo, but he's also chained up. So clearly, he's been revived. Was it the evil Chozo, or is it someone else? We don't actually know. For all we know, this evil Chozo could also be resurrected by something like the X Parasite. Obviously not the X-Power site, but something like, we don't know. But there's, there's Samus, and I, I just love this this frame here. It's just, oh, this frame is just so ridiculously good. Samus just stares at him like an absolute unit and does not give a damn. But if you pay closer attention, he's chained up. So whoever's revived him, and for what reason for, they haven't got full control of him. He's clearly in some kind of berserk fell state right now. So, again... Big question. Who revived Kraid? Why are they revived? Why are they chained up? And who is the person responsible for all of this? And also, if Kraid's back, what about Ridley? What about Motherbrain? What about all the other Metroid bosses? I mean, the, the table's technically open. I mean, we don't know why they would revive Kraid in the first place, so why not Ridley? So, again, crazy. Big bad guys revived. Back from God knows where. For what reason? Don't know. Potential for other classic bad guys to be in it. I hope really is in it. I really do hope really is in it. Then we see remnants of the Chozo Civil War. The destruction that was caused by that. We see Tolizo reanimated Chozo statues. Again, 
what's reanimating them. If you freeze frame one of the clips, it does look like it might be the X Parasite, but Sam has did destroy that. So again, slight question mark, but again, tantalizing little nugget of what the hell is going on there. All the possibilities that could be, mine just goes absolutely crazy. And there's probably a lot more I've missed in this trailer, but even the, the end bit where Samus is about to go unconscious and then boom. Same way as the show, though, something clearly awakens in her and then it just ends. It ends with that tantalizing nugget, dread take on that classic Metroid tune, concept art, out October 8th. Perfect ending, whoever created this trailer is just top of their field. The way it starts, and then the way it progresses, showing big moments like Kray, Chozo ruins, gameplay showing Samus taking on two high-powered enemies, which looks like that's going to be a very difficult fight where you're going to have to, your reactions are going to have to be completely on point. Really excited to see what the combat shapes into because that looks like that's going to be an incredibly fun, amazing fight. Some brilliant clips of just general gameplay movement to first all abilities that just look absolutely top notch. But then it cuts again to Kraid, it cuts to another crazy scene with Kraid eventually with Samus running up Kraid, that was absolutely badass. And then it ends with the big holy crap moment. Just a trailer of what the hell, what the hell, what the hell, if you're a, if a franchise fan, just constant questions, constant tantalizing hints, and then boom. One big what the hell ending. Whoever made this is, they knew exactly what they're doing. They knew exactly what they wanted to achieve with this trailer. They knew exactly what that they wanted to show. You think they've shown a lot, but actually when you go into the minutia of what all of that can mean, they've really not shown that much. They've just given the perfect amount of tantalizing nuggets throughout the trailer. And then with that big holy hell moment, leaving you just starving for more. Then boom, the end. Classic music by October 8th. I, I, I'm in. All I can say is I'm in. I am incredibly excited for this game. Why this was not shown during the Gamescom opening night or in Gamescom in general, I have no idea. I mean, to me, this is a Megaton trailer. All the content within it, it's a Megaton trailer. It should have been there. No idea what the hell's going on there. Anyway, incredibly excited for a Nintendo game for first time in a long time. It looks like after 19 years, Nintendo have finally realized that Metroid is a strong franchise. I would say their best franchise. They finally realized it. Whatever Metroid Prime 4 ends up being after all these development issues, I just hope it's as special as this seems to be because the franchise deserves love and this game looks absolutely nuts. Anyway, please like and subscribe, leave any comments down below, let me know if I've missed anything, because this trailer, I'm sure there's loads of little other details within this trailer I just have not noticed. Incredibly excited. Talk to you again soon.